Good afternoon. Today I'm going to tell, tell you about a program called SFGen, which reads ODB++ and converts it into GDS2. And the purpose of SFGen is to prep data so that it can be rasterized by a high-speed GDS2-based rasterizer. We're going to use a conventional panelized printed circuit board as our example. This one's about 22 by 24 inches, and it has uh, 3 by 8 or 24 circuits in it. Uh, these circuits, although they're identical, they are mirrored and, and rotated in different directions. We'll start our SFGen program and select the ODB file. And we can also select where we want the output to go. The file gets scanned, and then we can select the step, which is we want the panel, and we select the layer. There are some advanced settings. Let's look at them. A working directory, number of threads. There's your cord error, half a micron we're using. We have some transformations. I'm not using any right now. We have some text annotation we can put in, and we have some distortion files that can be loaded. We'll go in those detail in another session. So our object now is to convert this to GDS2, so I press convert. So it first loads, it does some interpretation of the symbols and the layers, and then it begins computing basic windows. And now it's comparing these various structures to make sure they're actually the same structure. and it's finished. So let's look at our output. We're using Artworks Quick View program to display the output and if we zoom in we can see that the output is looking as it should. If we turn off the fill we can see that all the boundaries are very very clean even if the original data had lots of overlaps lots of different entities we have only a single entity and that the data is cut to GDS2 requirement so that any holes are created by surrounding the hole with different polygons. So that should be very clean to rasterize. You can see the hierarchy. We call this a semi-flat file because there's only one level of hierarchy. We've been able to create uh, different instances as needed of the two basic uh, circuits in the design. Thank you.